What up, Bartle Nation? Campos here, back again with the winner of this beautiful play mat, an OTS official uh, first place mat. Who are you? Timothy motherfucking Scott. Pretty sure we all know the answer to that one, but just for people that are new to the channel or just kind of randomly popped in, saw this video because uh, <laughs> this type of deck usually gets a lot of views. What deck are you playing this time? Oh man, you know I'm playing Heroes. I have to go play it with the Triple D Force this time. You know, Ooh, a lot triple of people were asking me what I was thinking about D Force, and I played it in this tournament, and like it was awesome. I ain't gonna lie, it was awesome. All right, well let's get into it. I want to see D Force. All right, so. My E-Hero package, of course, is probably about the same as I always run. Well, actually, no. This time, I was running two Stratos, uh, two Stratos, two Shadow Mists, Honest Neos, and Liquid Soldier. You know, basic E-Hero package, same thing we always run. I know I usually only have one Stratos, but because I was running Triple D Force this time, I felt like it was really important for me to get off my Vision Heroes and stuff to make sure that I always had enough monsters on the board to tribute. So I didn't want to draw this and then have a hero lives and not be able to summon Stratos, you know, because that happened to me a couple times in different tournaments mm. and stuff. So, but basic, you know, e hero package right there. Yep, yep. Still not playing three Stratos, but you know, <laughs> that's just me. T Sharon. Right. My vision heroes. I know a lot of times I don't play the full package. It just kind of depends on what my goal is with my deck. But like I said, this time my goal was to make sure that I brought out Plasma. And in order to have enough monsters, I wanted to make sure that I always hit off my increase, that I always had Ferris, and that, you know, I had Vion and stuff to use. Like, the times when I did use one Ferris and stuff, it's like I'm trying to OTK my opponent. I'm not looking for a long game, so I'm just trying to, you know, kill him, so I didn't need multiple Ferrises and stuff in that point. But for this deck, I use multiple Ferrises, full Vision Hero package right there. Yeah, it makes sense, and uh, I like the theory. Very spot on. Uh, you know, that, that, that's uh, just what I learned from playing this deck in Duel Links, though. So I don't yeah. know if it tracks over yeah, one-to-one. You know, one. depending on what you're trying to do with the deck, you know, if your goal is to OTK your opponent, you don't need a whole bunch of Ferrises and Increase and stuff like that. You know, it just kind of depends. So your goal is some cheese. Yep, is to bring out the D-Force. And my D-Heroes right here, of course, Plasma, Dynatag. I know a lot of people don't run Dynatag, but... I have a lot of games where it's kind of like we get grindy a little bit, and I like to be able to bring out Dystopia if I have to. And I ain't going to lie, Master Duel kind of influenced that a little bit too. You know, I like Dynatag and Dystopia. Dystopia is one of my favorite D-Heroes. I like the burn damage, and I like that, you know, he's got the pop effect. You can increase his attack back up in like 3,800. Ain't nothing to mess with when you go 38, burn 411. That's pretty much almost game right there. So, you know, my D-Heroes, best D-Hero though, Denier. Y'all know that one. All right. And we look at my spells. Of course, like I said, three D force. Um only even with three of them inside of my deck, using um also Liquid Soldier, or as I call them, Graceful Charity. There were only a couple times where I drew this. I think it was like three games where I drew this, but every single time that I had it out there and I got plasma out there, I won. Like no problems at all. I even got Regeki one time with this out on the board. He's like, oh, Plasma doesn't die? No, Plasma doesn't die. And, you know, I still ended up winning that game. Uh, there was one game, my my round one against Live Twins. Actually, he actually got rid. I didn't have D-Force, and he got rid of my Plasma. And I remember when I drew for turn, it's like I had a play. I was like, please just let me draw D-Force so I can get my Plasma back. And I didn't draw it, but I had Denier engraved. And it was one of the few times where I actually used Denier's effect to put um, a Destiny Hero monster on top of my deck that wasn't denied. I actually put Plasma back on top of my deck and went to go search for him and brought him back out there and it was able to win me the game. So, yeah, but my thoughts on this card, it's a really good card. Your opponent cannot target none of your stuff. Like, it was awesome. So there were a couple of times at the end of the game where my opponent showed me they had Chalice. Oh, I can't do anything with this. Yep, that's right. So, yeah, yeah this card put in work. Absolutely ridiculous. I've run into it on uh, Master Duel and... Uh, I couldn't Twin Twister that card. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't target none of their stuff. And I think, like, one of the better things about it is, like, there are very few decks that have an out to Dark Law. And I think if y'all watch my combo video, there is, like, a three-card combo that you can use with D-Force in order to bring out, you know, um, to bring out the big three, DPE, Plasma, and Mass Hero Dark Law. And when that happens with D-Force out there, you just win. Like, literally, your opponent just cries. So, yeah, I liked having 3-3 three, three before, so I think it was really good. Well, I mean, I won that game with the D-Force, but... Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you wasn't playing against me, so that's probably why that happened. <laughs> it could have been, honestly. It was pretty free, so... <laughs> 
So yeah, you know, I posted the video. I feel like if you're playing a going first hero deck, this card, in my opinion, I feel like it's mandatory. You know, our fusion destiny going on first turn is kind of like, you know, almost a game winning scenario because, you know, off of just fusion destiny, we have DPE and plasma. And if you have D force too, then you know, it just makes it all the better. So of course, three cross outs. I'm trying to cross out everything. So we got three of those boys off in there. Never bricked it. It was good every single time I played it. And well, I'll tell y'all what happened with this later. Uh, three mass change, of course, standard, dark law, hero blast, put in work. Three fusion destiny, probably the best spell card in our deck. Best card spell card in everybody else's deck right now, too. Uh, only two droplets. I went down to two because, I don't know, I just didn't want to keep drawing multiple ones. And like I said, most of the time I'm trying to go first and just, you know, set up my own board. And if I didn't, then, you know, I just had the drop list to kind of break theirs if I had to. But a lot of times with heroes, we draw like enough extenders to play through, you know, a couple hand traps or a couple negates and stuff. So I felt like I only needed two drop lists. I didn't want my deck count to go up too high so that I have a higher chance of drawing D-Force. And my one ofs, the Rhoda. A hero lives. I'm playing two of these in Master Duel. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle Fusion. I was playing one Ecall because, you know, I needed a little bit more consistency inside of this deck because it's like really important to get three monsters out to be able to tribute for Plasma. So I'm running Ecall in this version. Then Polly and Harpy's Feather Duster because I've been playing too much um, Master Duel and I got tired of Eldritch decks and I don't know, I was just thinking maybe I'll run into something crazy like that up here too. And we have a Mystic Mind player up here, so one Harpy's Feather Duster main deck. All right, uh, 40 cards, hopefully. It's 41 cards, it's 41 cards. It's hard for me to just play straight 40 for some reason. I'm always at like 41, 42. Mm -mm, you just take out the Feather Duster. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Campos, I'll take out the Feather Duster. Then uh, my cross out targets, one of each of these, Imperm, Ash, I cross this out probably more than anything else. Like this, I don't know, it hap It doesn't happen as much as I thought it would. But at first, um, I wasn't using Effect Veiler because I didn't think a lot of people were running it. But then there were a couple of times where I got hit with Effect Veiler and it like really made me mad because I was like, damn, I could just have that off inside of there. And one of the things I'm thinking about adding to this package now, because I don't know if y'all been watching a lot of the top deck lists, they all have Gamma in their side deck. And like, oh, that card sucks. Like, I hate to put it into my side deck as a one of to cross it out, but shh, it's getting that bad, you know? So those are my cross out targets right there. My extra deck, you know, of course, our boss, Bass Hero Dark Law. Wait, Master wait, so Dark that was part of the, the main still? Yeah, that was all my. Oh, main okay. Yeah, that's my what I said. There were my cross out targets. Oh. Okay, okay. My mass heroes, blast, acid, dark law. This boy is like an MVP on master duels right there. So is this guy, but you know, basic mass heroes right there. My destiny heroes. I like this Topia, so he's still off inside of there. That burn damage, you know, it wins games sometimes, especially like when you're playing against somebody who doesn't really know that dystopia is expected and y'all go into time and they ask something like stratos or something else and you able to just like i even had ash happen on um, fusion destiny before and you know we can hard make stuff like this with violin so you know that burn damage wins games yeah with the uh, like weaker boards you just get more damage on there for less so. yep have to do it sometimes yeah. though. my e heroes Escorito, uh, Zero, Sunrise. Y'all know these three gotta have them. I put this off in there because, you know, with Fusion Destiny, you can only bring out the dark ones. So there were times where I needed that. Then my Blink Monsters, Verte, Cross Crusader, Dreadmaster, Wonder Driver. You know, just like any other deck, sometimes when you get hand trapped, all you can do is go Verte DPE. And, you know, I feel like we gotta have that too. I can't wait till we get the, the Dark Link Monster. It's definitely going off inside of there, the one that lets us special summon a dark monster. But yeah, I love all those right there. I wasn't keeping track, but please tell me that was 15 cards in your extra. I'm hoping it was 15. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, all right. it was 15. Crisis averted. <laughs> How many did you count? I, I told you I didn't count. Oh, okay. I'm just making sure. All right. All right. 41 Let me cards. Make sure there's yeah. 15 inside of my. <laughs> I think he's adding more. Dang, my side deck was 16 cards. No, I'm joking, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, 
three token collectors because sword soul is running rampant everywhere i know they're running chalices and stuff to counter it but you know sometimes you just got to do it like one thing i didn't know is that they were running that berserker um tenye monster off inside of there that just like destroys this little guy but you know hey if it stops mo Yi from drawing and doing all that shit, then i'm gonna play this so yep three token collectors one droll just because it can be a cross out target i don't think like a lot of people in my area are main decking it so there was no reason to put it inside of my main deck but if they do start main decking it then this will go probably switch out with feather duster and i'll main deck droll as a cross out target take out another card make it even make 40. out the feather duster no i'm not gonna take out another card campos i'm fine with 41. Okay. i have bricks in there like i'm fine with it all right three dark rulers you know this is just easy way to break boards and since i'm not playing an otk deck i don't care if my opponent can't take damage i just want to be able to break their board as best as i can and then there are some times where when i'm actually going first i might um since i'll take out leave in one droplet and take out one of the droplets for dark ruler in case i need to cross it out so i do do that sometimes because dark ruler really fucks up this deck like they can through dark law they can dark ruler you so sometimes i want to be able to cross that out uh, three Cosmic Cyclones, just, uh, you know, Schism was like my mom thing that I'm scared of. I just want to be able to destroy it. And then I don't always like think that I'm going to have cards in my hand that I want to discard. So I didn't run Twin Twister. I just kind of like Cosmic Cyclone better. And then plus this is good for the, um, what is it? The PK matchup where you can just hit the Scythe or any matchup where they're running Scythe, you know, you can hit the Scythe, banish it, get them out of there. It's pretty good Not against Lich. Against Lich. Yep. Against Lich too. Get the Master Duel Special. Trip. The Master Duel Special. It is, man. He's putting in work on Master Duel. I think my final boss to get to Platinum 1 was against um, l -Lich. So I'm going to post that. That's going to be posted up here pretty soon. I, I didn't even get to see what my final person was playing because I FTK'd him. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. You were telling me about the deck that you played on there. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, That's nice. 3D Barrier. This card is just good all across the board. You know, Sword Soul, even Tribrigades, Water, other hero decks, because y'all see we got like a bunch of hero players up here too. And, you know, just like I talked out, talked about in my going first, going second video, if there are cards that I can cross out that'll keep me from losing the game, I want to give my chance, my give myself a chance to win the game. So there were actually three times in the tournament where I had to cross out D Barrier. So going um, second sometimes, you know, I just left one off inside of there. I had to cross it out. It happened twice against um, Earth Machine God um, Christopher. So, yeah, he was very sad because in top four, it was one of the times, you know, he just thought he was going to sit on D-Barrier. I crossed it out and proceeded to OTK him. So, do you cite in this one specifically? I do. One of, I do. Okay. I, I, I wonder why. why. I don't know why. Just because I feel like if it's a higher rarity, I have a less chance of drawing it. I don't know. That's just the way my deck works. All right. <laughs> but, yeah, so those three right there. And then these two. Red Reboot, got to have it. Give myself a chance to win against stuff like D-Barrier, Harpy's Feather Storm. And then I know the one Imperial Order looks weird. And it only came up once during the tournament, but I did cross out somebody's Imperial Order, and it helped me win the game. So, yeah. And then even I feel like sometimes when you're going first, and maybe you don't have D-Force, but you still set up your board with Plasma, Dark Law, DPE, having Imperial Order, you know, saves us at the same time too. Cause I feel like if you had that board set up, you're not worried about playing your spells anymore. You know, you got your board set up the way you want it to be. You just don't want your opponent to break it. So if you have Imperial Order, you probably winning that game. You know, I feel like you just winning. So, yep, that came up once. I had a lot of fun with it. And like I said, that's my Triple D. E Hero, my E Hero deck. This card is disgusting when you get it out there, even on Master Duel, because everybody has Regeki and they go to Regeki you and then realize that Plasma lives and he's got like 3,200 attack with all the monsters you done dumped and everything and stuff. So, yeah, I like it. It got me this play mat I really like. See that? Went undefeated on the day. It was awesome. Triple D. Uh, no Break the Destiny. I didn't want to put Beatrice in my extra deck. Yeah, I just didn't have room for it. I didn't want to be doing that. <laughs> I but, didn't have room for it. Okay. No, nah, I didn't have room for okay, it. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. shout out to Die Pay to Win Win because, you know, he provides a lot of my cards and stuff that I need. Um, shout out to Limitless Games, my sponsor over here, Jason Holloway. 
Um, shout out to my boys at Opposition Games. You got one of them standing over here, Christian Greyhouse. You know, Alfred's off inside of there. You know, shout out to all them. They good people. Shout out to Campos because, you know, me and him, we almost like teammates. You know, we play against each other a lot in Top Cut, split, do whatever and stuff. But he's real cool. I can't wait to play him in Master Duel because apparently he's playing, um, what is it? What is that called? What is it called again? You know, uh, Gem Knight FTK. Yeah, he's playing Gem Knight FTK, and I've never seen it. You know, I missed a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, so I got to see what that's all about. Um, I am playing Master Duel. I have a video going up in a couple of days about my deck list, you know, some of my replays and stuff. But honestly, like, I haven't had, like, a lot of crazy duels on there. Most of them have only been, like, two or three turns because a lot of times you bring out Dark on, you just win, you know. But I did have – I had a very good match against a Korean – um, invoke Doc Matica deck, like it was crazy. I actually had to tribute summon Vision Hero um, Ferris on him in order to win the game, so <laughs> it was crazy. But yep, that's my deck profile. Hope y'all like it. Check me out. All right, appreciate you. No problem. Stay a while. Listen. <laughs>